back with her second dog. Jade. Jade is aged five. And I'm at the Blue Cross Fun Dog Show and I'm joined by TV personality Peter Purvis. Is this your first time in Felix Day? No, I've been to Felix Day before. But it's, lovely... so it's the first time I've been to one of the Blue Cross events. Oh, right. It's a lovely seaside town. It is. It? It's nice. It's very, very nice and it's, it's so peaceful. I love Suffolk. Um, do you own any dogs yourself? Yeah, do you I've got any... five. Oh, five. I have had as many as seven. But nice. I've got five at the moment. We, we bred a litter of um, wire, standard wire-haired dachshunds. So we've got a pack of four at home. We, we, we had five more puppies which we, we sold. Um, I won't do it again because we didn't like selling the puppies. I oh, know, we didn't, it's we very hard. We wanted to keep them all, but it would have been madness to try and keep them. You know, we can't keep them all. They're just about to get started, so I hope you can still hear me over this. But yeah, we've also got a Pekingese as well. We lost two Pekingese last year, and uh, they were both elderly. But now we've uh, just got one young one, a year old. Oh, bless. Well, um, are you a long-time supporter of the Blue Cross itself? Um, I've been very aware of the Blue Cross for years. I haven't been an active supporter of it. I haven't, I haven't sort of gone to any Blue Cross events, but I see them from time to time at various shows that I do go to. I mean, Discover Dogs will continue and Crofts will continue. Those are both run by the Kennel Club, and I know that the Blue Cross has a presence there as well. I, th I think it's a terrific organisation. And um, finally, what would your message be to encourage people to support charities such as the Blue Cross? Why are they so important? Well, vitally important because, sadly, this is the nature of people and their animals that animals get abandoned, animals get ill-treated, animals are not looked after as well as they should. They say we're a nation, a nation of dog lovers and animal lovers. I don't think we are really. I, I, I think a lot of us keep dogs and cats um, and other animals as well. Um, the majority will look after them well, but there's always going to be a minority who don't, and for them, rescue is important. You know, j just thinking about silly small breeds like a Pekingese, like we've got. There's a res there are rescue centres for Pekingese. You can't imagine. Why, why would anyone ill-treat or abandon a little piece of fluff like that that can't fend for itself? It's no never going to be a dog that would survive out in the wild. You know, why do they need rescue? They do. It's, it's a very sad fact of life. So support is crucial. Support's then. crucial. And Felix, though, needs to keep the Blue Cross there. And somehow, the lovely people of Felix, though, need to raise £1.1 million. A lot of money. They'll do it. We can do it. Thank you very much for talking to us today. And we hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks and the show that. goes all, all well. Thanks Thank so you much, very Eddie. much. Thank you. Come on, Come on, I am joined by Andy Gillen here, the manager of the Blue Cross Centre in Felix. So how much is required in order to save the centre then? Well, we're looking at, we have a figure of £1 million. Uh, we have a very dedicated group of individuals that are working for us with a campaign committee called Complete the Dream Campaign. And we're looking to raise, yeah, raise £1 million. We're looking to get that money to buy additional land that's attached to the centre and also refurbish all the facilities that we have. Brilliant. So um, what other fundraising events are you holding throughout the year in order to raise the money? Well, this is the, this is the first big centre-led fundraising event. We'll be doing a Christmas fair and maybe something in the autumn regarding an open day at the summer. But there's 101 different events going on around the area all the time that people are very kindly working hard to raise money for the Blue Cross. And they're advertised either on our website or in the local paper or very kindly with yourselves. So there's always going to be something that people can do to donate to the Blue Cross. If people just want to donate money to the Blue Cross, they can go onto the website and donate specifically to the Complete the Dream campaign.